we all have our boutique labels that we love, right? Me, I'm a huge fan of Arrow. In the last year or so, I've become an even bigger fan of Second Sight Films. It's not often that a studio breaks into boutique quality releases. It's actually rare. It's something that we in the community beg studios to do more because we want that. I mean, sure, we can wait for the licensing to get sell off in these companies to put it out, but sometimes it's a long time in the making, right? And we love paying for the quality that we get from boutique releases. So what happens when a studio says, you know what? Let's get into that quality. Let's try something that other studios are not. And that's where A24 comes into play. At this point, we all know who A24 is. They are responsible for, I guess, kind of reinvigorating the indie film market. They're a studio that allows directors and creators to live out their vision fully. And sometimes it's for the better. Sometimes it's for the worse. Not all of A24's films are great, but they put out some of the best. I mean, most recently... Everything Everywhere All at Once dominated, absolutely dominated the awards market. I mean, it took home practically everything, and that was an A24 film. And go through their catalog and just look at how many of their movies are widely known for quality, creativity. And they back them up as a studio doing really cool things like books and merch and they kind of do things a little off the beaten path a little more varied they, they put some quality in and, and and for that you end up paying for it but they do some really nice releases and one i want to point out is like this release here of a little movie marcel the show with shoes on it comes in this really cool kind of slip box and this opens up and you know it's it's really really nice i'm gonna put this back on the shelf but then you have a handful of editions that did this and you have this big box and that's the case for the other one that i have in the collection for midsummer i mean this thing is crazy they also did one for the green knight they did one for the last black man in san francisco and the newest of the bunch is robert eggers the lighthouse and this was one that i knew immediately i had to jump on i mean it was pricey this thing was i think 47 dollars for a 4k now mind you this was the first actual 4k release of this film um arrow also announced it for the uk market but this is a hell of a release i mean let me show you this is the outer box cover here i'll show you what that looks like there is your title there if you flip it around and upside down, you just have your credits on this end here. And then this actually, I'll go with the spine as well. Let's see if I can get the focus on the spine here. It's really nice. It's like a hard box. And then this actually, tight fit, slides out. And you have your front art here. I'm going to back up a little bit just to showcase this in full. Your spine. And then your back art and when this is opened up fully this is what you're getting absolutely like just beautiful 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 presentation here with this i love the black and white there's no color anywhere in this thing at all then we open this up and you have your disc right in there this is the 4k they also did do a blu-ray release as well and then you got a couple actually a pretty good amount i think there is 60 pages in here and this is pretty full of some pretty cool stuff so when you open it up you got some stuff you got a lot of stuff going on in here quotes looks like we have some early art and then you go a little bit further and you're into 
storyboard stuff. And most of it's storyboards. And then you have some, let's see, some interior art. You also have some behind the scenes photography in here. I mean, this is a beautiful, I mean, incredible presentation, like I said before. Open this behind the scenes art in here. I mean, this release is just absolutely amazing with your color font here on the back. And then that closes up like that. And then this slides right back into this card box here. Now, absolutely love everything about this. And if I remember correctly, I'm actually gonna pop this back out. My only thing with this release is the lack of real bonus features. Let's see something here. So we have a making of, this from 2019 is from the original release. We have instruments and inspirations in the studio with composer Mark Corbin. That is a 2023 feature, as well as outfitting the lighthouse with costume designer Linda Muir. And then we also have a commentary with Robert Eggers. There is one, two, three deleted scenes as well. And there's actually four sections here. There's a book content. Tense. We have storyboard excerpts, BIB front shirt pattern, production design drawings, and behind the scenes photography. It's just a beautiful presentation here. Now this is, I'm kind of like, you know, Arrow did just announce this. This thing's, there we go. Uh, Arrow did just announce the release of the Lighthouse on 4K, which is region free, by the way, if you weren't, if you didn't know that already. Um, they did just release a limited edition of this and it's strictly for the UK, though you can get it on Diabolic and Orbit as well. Um, and it does contain a couple of documentaries that were not on the original release, are not on this release. So if you are a completionist when it comes to bonus features, I would maybe look at the Arrow release. It's pretty jam-packed with some cool stuff. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to pull the trigger on that one as well. But this looks phenomenal when teamed up with the big box you know midsummer release here a uh, little kind of a pain with the size that they fit on the shelf they don't i kind of have a special shelf that i got to put these on but super cool releases the lighthouse is my second favorite robert eggers film um for me first is going to be the witch um and then i'll go lighthouse and then the northman which i, I still love the northman but um, I will watch The Witcher Lighthouse over it most days. Um, Robert Eggers is an incredible director. I can't wait to see what he does next. He's supposedly working on a remake of Nosferatu. But if you are interested in getting this, if it's still available as of this moment, I will link it down below in the description. Um, like I said, it's 47 and I think the Blu-ray is 45 uh, over on their website. There's also some cool merch over there. All kinds of stuff pertaining to the lighthouse over there. But thanks for hanging out. Make sure if you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same name here, Bearded Film Guy. I am recording this on Easter. So from me to you and your family on Easter, happy Easter. Thanks for hanging out for this quick video. I'll catch you all next time.